The Truth About Crypto by Rick Edelman The popularity of Bitcoin has spread to the masses. Welcome to your book summary.com. 2009, the world was amid a major economic crisis when the Bitcoin blockchain first appeared. People should have paid more attention to this innovative concept since earning the new cryptocurrency required solving complex mathematical equations. The block reward for solving a math problem was set at 50 bitcoins in 2009, but after several block reward halvings, the compensation has dropped to 6.25 bitcoins as of 2020. With competition growing increasingly fierce, bitcoin miners no longer rely on standard desktop computers. Instead, they invest in expensive $12,000 rigs and often connect them to improve their success chances. Bitcoin was designed as a viable option to fiat currency. Unlike dollars, which can be printed indefinitely by the US government, the supply of Bitcoin will always be limited to 21 million coins. As of 2022, approximately 18.5 million coins have been mined, while roughly 4 million have been lost. Some early miners didn't take proper measures to keep track of their Bitcoins, while others lost their passwords. In a tragic turn of events, Bitcoin billionaire Mircea Popescu passed away in Costa Rica in 2021, and his Bitcoin password remained unknown. It's fascinating to see how much Bitcoin has become a part of the mainstream in recent years. Over 200 million people now own at least some Bitcoins, and not just individuals embracing this new currency. Credit card issuers, retailers, and mortgage companies have recognized the trend and accepted Bitcoins as payment. The transaction volume for Bitcoin now exceeds $1.5 trillion a year, which is more than twice the annual activity of PayPal. It's clear that Bitcoin is here to stay and will continue to play an important role in finance. I hope you found the information about the truth about crypto by Rick Edelman. If you're interested in learning more about the book, stay tuned for the next part of this series where we'll dive into the next section. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.